Pennsylvania has two large railroads, Norfolk Southern and CSX Transportation. The two where strikes could happen by late November. But it also has more short lines and regional railroads than any other state. More than 50. And the next two tracks are... Railroad historian and retired railroad line, engineer Dan local. Cupper. In the Pittsburgh area, you have uh, the Buffalo and Pittsburgh and the Allegheny Valley Railroad that are regionals that are dependent on Norfolk Southern and CSX. In the Philadelphia area, you have railroads like the Pennsylvania Northeastern and SMS lines in New Jersey. And near Harrisburg, where we met Cupper. This is a car that is moving between Norfolk Southern and the short line, uh, the Middletown and Humblestown. Now, compared to CSX or to Norfolk Southern, the short lines are small businesses. How small? I am vice president here at the m &H Railroad. The Middletown and Hummelstown, Michael Graybar. I oversee just about everything here. Um, the mechanic, uh, fabricator, welder. Mechanic, fabricator, welder, all singular. Well, yeah, that'd be me. One or two full-time employees. No union here, still. Norfolk Southern is who we mainly deal with. They have to cross Amtrak to get to us, and then we bring cars in for our customers down the road. That's unfortunately, if they shut down, and then we're going to be in trouble. Still a big yeah. if. Workers might ratify the tentative agreement with a big impact either way for the workers, the big railroads, the little ones, and the rest of us. FedEx, UPS uh, shipments, many of them come a long distance by rail before they get to the UPS truck. If you watch the intermodal trains that go by, you'll see containers that say FedEx or UPS. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.